Hi! We just checked in to Marina Bay Sands Hotel and we got the corner room on the 30th floor. I'm gonna show you guys a room tour now. This is the room. So we've got a bathroom here and a walk-in wardrobe over here. I'll take you guys to the bathroom first. Um, there's no bathtub this time, but we've got a really big shower area and they come with these really bougie soaps and shampoos and conditioner as well by Roberto Cavalli and they smell really good, they smell like lemongrass so actually the bathroom was wet because um, we already went to the pool I'll insert some clips after this room tour and this is the sink, a really wide sink, good for two and we've got all the towels beneath they come with all the usual amenities. They got the comb, toothbrushes, lotion, and some of this stuff in here. Pretty standard. And uh, here's the toilet seat. The only comment I have about this bathroom is that there are not enough um, of these like hooks where you can put your towels and other stuff on your bathrobes as well. I'm gonna take you guys to the walk-in wardrobe. So this is the first time that I've been in a hotel room with a walk-in wardrobe and it's really, it's got a lot of space as you can see. And over here we also have a really great view of the Marina Bay. I'm so surprised that we have this view as well as the opposite view of my, um, gardens by the bay and I'll show you that later but isn't this so nice I think they're setting up for national day over there yeah so we got some space for the luggage here and now this is the room we got the deluxe room so it's really big there's so much space you could hold a party in here, I think. Um, it makes the bed look small. This is a queen size bed. And they've got a little lounge chair or sofa over there. And we've got a very, very nice balcony. Um, this is the view that we got off Gardens by the Bay. I think this is really just really stunning. I'll take you guys outside. It's a bit narrow but it's pretty long and you got some plants over here and overlooking the entire gardens by the bay. Wow. This is really really cool. You got the domes there, probably the flower dome and the cloud forest. You got the super trees over here. And um, if I lean out and go all the way to the left, you can see the Singapore flyer. <laughs> right over here. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what the night view looks like. Going back into the room, <laughs> isn't this just a lot of space? We don't really know what to do with it. Um, it makes everything look so empty actually. So we've got the TV, we've got the desk, and a lot of space. And I want to show you, they have a Nespresso machine here too! My favorite! Yeah! <laughs> uh, it comes with different capsules though from the previous hotels we've stayed at it has what's this Ispirazione Ristretto Italiano Intensity 10 and Tokyo Vivalto Lungo which is supposed to be floral and complex Intensity 6 so that'll be nice to try we've also got some snacks here these are all complimentary and refillable. 
chips and some mixed nuts. We've got the tea and also a mini fridge. Also all complimentary and refillable. Cold water, Coke Sprite, orange juice, and apple juice. So actually we're here to celebrate our fourth year anniversary together, me and my boyfriend. And he got me these roses from Roses Only. Really beautiful long stand roses. I think there's 12 of them, a dozen. And they're so beautiful. You can see how large they are. This is like my arm for reference. Okay, so that's about it for the room tour. I'll put in some clips of the pool now. Hi! I'm here at the Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool. And the weather's really nice. It's so sunny. We really love the view too. where we stayed last time. I'll link the video somewhere above. I think we're on the 57th floor and uh, it's quite a different view from the previous one we had at Puritan Bay Hotel. You can really see the entire skyline from this area and yeah it's such a nice very refreshing view of Singapore. Is it as, as nice as you imagine it to be? Yeah, I think it might be nice in the evening as well, but maybe a little bit too cold, yeah. <laughs> so now we're just chilling in the room after hanging out at the pool. We were only allowed to hang out for like 1 hour 15 minutes, I think. We took the 2.30pm slot, so you get to check in at 2 and then we went straight to the pool to chill. Since it's still during this um, COVID-19 pandemic, we needed to book a slot and you can only book one slot per day to go to the pool. And the only available one for us was at 2.30 and luckily the weather was really great. Um, it was nice and we really liked that um, the staff actually handed out free or complimentary fruit punch. It's like juice in like a small bottle for everyone. Um, that was a very nice touch. I don't think I've ever been to a hotel that gave out drinks while you were at the pool. So that was that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, nothing much going on now. Just uh, resting before we go for dinner. So we have plans to head to Lavo tonight and um, say la vie after for drinks. And we'll take you along. Now I'm just going to make myself a cup of coffee. One of my capsules. This one has even a floral design on it, which is nice. Dump it in. It's nice. It's not really not too intense. I think you would like this. It's qu quite light, but still very flavorful. I can't really taste the florally notes, even though it's supposed to have some. But I guess that's also good because I don't know how floral coffee would taste. <laughs> so we're at Lavo for our anniversary dinner, and it's at the top of Tower One, I think. And so far, it seems pretty nice. Very romantic, I guess, after 7.30. <laughs> they did the lights, so that's great. And also there are lesser families now. Just now there were quite a few. 
Here we have the complimentary bread on the house and it looks so good. It looks so fluffy. What does it taste like? Bread. My boyfriend already ate one slice. No. Because he couldn't win. <laughs> <laughs> the tomato sauce. Yeah. He says it definitely doesn't taste canned, so that's already a great start. I think there's like all the bits inside. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Our appetizers have arrived. We got the meatball. I think this is their signature dish. It's not obviously, a ball. It's not a ball. It's not a ball. <laughs> and it's huge. It's a dough. It's a meat dough. This is my thumb. <laughs> And I think the top, there's some kind of like whipped cheese, so that will be interesting. And um, here we have the charred octopus, which they have us to slice up. Solid meat. So I just tasted the meatball, and it's so soft and moist. And I really like the whipped cheese. It's not too overpowering. I think it complements the meat a lot. The octopus is good too. It has a very, very nice char on it. it tastes like it's fresh out the barbecue. And it's not too rubbery as well. So here's the potato gnocchi, which is apparently handmade and comes with um, truffle sauce, I think. We never read the menu. We just tried the gnocchi and it's so so good. It's so soft but it's like a little chewy. What did you say they were like? It's like little clouds. Yeah. <laughs> really? Delicious truffle creamy clouds. Really good. Best dish of the night. Yeah, I agree. And the chocolate is really strong too. So we're finishing off with the dragon spritz, which is basically a pair of spritz but with dragon fruit. And my wife is gonna taste and tell us. Mix it a bit first. How is it? Was it bok Yeah. Quite strong. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's pretty strong. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like dragon fruit though. It tastes more like vodka. Yeah. To see the V on the fifty seventh floor. We got our drinks. This is the happy afternoon, and I think it has a uh, very tropical sort of flavors. Sorry, I got a lychee there. And then I got the paper lantern, which apparently is based off some fruit from Asia. I don't really know which one. Maybe it's a star it's, fruit. It's called paper lantern. Oh, there's an actual fruit. Oh, okay. There's an actual fruit called paper lantern. But at least based on the menu here, let me show you. Chinese lantern fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out paper lantern is actually really nice. <laughs> it's sweet. It tastes like a fruit, but I can't particularly put my finger on what it is. And um, the happy afternoon tastes like a very nice mix of coconut and lychee, orange, all the good tropical stuff. So overall, we're really happy with our drinks. Ooh, look at all the lights. This is right outside our room. <laughs> Here's the night view. Ooh, it's so windy actually. <laughs> Love the blue of the super trees. That's nice. Thank you.